all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create close lead from new Google Sheets table row. So are you also using Google Sheets and close for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So with here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a software solutions company and we track the details of our potential customers in our single spreadsheet table. So with here, I want that as soon as I add the details in the table of my Google Sheets, automatically with the help of same details, a new lead should be created in my close too. So for this, we are going to create a connection between Google Sheets and Close. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Public Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So I'm going to do this because I want to convert my leads into customers. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to create Close lead from new Google Sheets table row. So as you know that I run software solutions company and we track potential customers inquiry in Google Sheets. So now to streamline our sales process, what I want is that as soon as I add the lead details right over here in my spreadsheet, automatically with the help of same details, a new lead should be created in my close too. So this automation ensures that our sales team gets immediate access to new leads, allowing them to follow up quickly and efficiently. Also, this helps us maintain the high level of customer engagement and increases our chances of converting inquiries in to sales. So to do this, we have successfully opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account and now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button that says create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in so I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create close lead from new Google Sheets table row and then we are going to click on create and now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window this is the most important window because we have to an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so this means that the trigger commands the workflow and the actions are response towards that command so now we are going to select our trigger application which is google sheets because i want that as soon as the new is updated in my google sheets automatically my workflow should be triggered so we are going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row and now it is giving me a web book url so we are going to use this web book url in order to create a connection between our google sheets account and our Pabli's workflow so first i'm going to copy this web book url and then we are going to open our google sheets account and now we are going to go on extensions and then add-ons and then we are going to go and get add-ons and now we are going to add extension right over here so for that we are going to search for Pabli connect web books so i'm going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to open it and now you can see that i've already installed this extension if you haven't installed this you are going to get the option of install right over here and as soon as we are going to add this we are going to refresh the page it is really important to refresh the page and as soon as we are going to refresh the page you can see public connect web books appeared right over here under extensions so now we are going to go on initial setup and as soon as we are going to open the initial setup, you can see that it is asking me to select the sheet, web book URL and the trigger column. So as you know, the name of my sheet is lead. So I've selected the same right over here. For the web book URL, we are going to paste the URL we copied from our workflow. And now it is asking me for the trigger column. So over here, you can see that it is saying the trigger column will be your final data column. So our final data column is E in this case. So I'm going to enter it as E. You have to enter your final data column in which you have the details. So now we are going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see setup configured successfully so this means that we have successfully created a connection between our google sheets account and our Pabli's workflow and now it is saying waiting for a webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission so this means that we have to add the details right over here first so to do this we are going to go on extensions first and then we are going to go on Pabli connect webhooks and over here you can see send on event so we are going to switch on this button so 
ensure that as soon as a new event occurs in our spreadsheet, automatically the details should be sent to our workflow. So as soon as I'm going to switch this on, you can see a tick mark right over here. So now after switching on this button, we are going to do the test submission. So for the first name, I'm going to keep it as demo. For the last name, we are going to keep it as user. For the company, I'm going to keep it as Pablitude. So I'm going to enter it right over here. And then for the email, we are going to keep it as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to enter it. Then for the phone number, I'm going to enter a dummy phone number and as soon as we are going to enter the phone number like this. So as you can see that we have successfully entered the phone number and as soon as we are going to enter these details automatically, these details have been sent to my workflow. So I'm going to open my workflow and check for the response of these details only. So I'm going to open my workflow and yes, you can see that we have received a new response over here. You can see all the same details, the first name, the last name, the phone number, the email and the company that we entered and over here you can also see the spreadsheet name and the sheet name so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now we are going to move on to our action step and for our action application i'm going to select close right over here because we are going to create a lead in my close account as soon as the new lead details are added in my spreadsheet so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as create lead over here you can see the same so we are going to select it and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see over here it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your close account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me. Click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the API key and the password. So to get this, we are going to read the help text and it is saying enter your API key. Leave the password field blank if you want. Log into your close account. You can get the API key from settings and then API keys. So I'm going to open my close account and then from here we are going to go and set so as you can see that I've already logged in my account and it is really important to log in your accounts before starting with the automation. It makes the procedure easy. So now from the left side bar, we are going to go on settings and now we are going to scroll from the left side bar. You can see developers. So we are going to go on this and now after opening the developer, you can see the two API keys that I've already created. So I'm going to create a new for that. We are going to click on new API key and now it is asking me for the key name. So I'm going to keep it as lead right over here. And now after entering this, we are going to click on create API key and as you can see that this is the API key we wished for so we are going to copy this API key and then we are going to paste this same API key right over here in our workflow and now it is asking me for the password so if you want you can definitely enter it but this is not the required field so I'm going to leave it as blank and then we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our close account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the company name so over here we are going to map the company name from the response of our trigger application. So mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Google Sheets as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received in my Google Sheets. So I'm going to give you an example that over here in front of company name suppose I'm going to enter Pabli Tutes right over here manually like this. So suppose I'm going to enter Pabli Tutes right over here manually, then this will not change with every new response received in our Google Sheets because this is a static information and I've entered it manually. But if you are going to map it from the previous response, suppose I'm going to look for company name and as you can see Pabli Tutes. So if you are going to map it from the previous response, then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change. So that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time. And now it is asking me for the URL and the description. So as you can see, both of these fields are not the required. So we are going to leave it as blank. It is asking me for the status. So I'm going to select the status as potential. You can select any one from this. We are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the contact name. So we are going to enter the name of our lead right over here. So I'm going to search for name. And as you can see, first name, last name. So we are going to map it right over here. We are going to map the first name, put a space and then last name. We are going to move on forward. It is asking me the title. So we are going to leave it as blank. This is not the required field. It is asking me the email. So I'm going to map the email too because we have that. And as you can see, the email so we are going to map this we are going to move on forward we are going to map the phone number too i'm going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it and as you can see that it is asking me for the label so i'm going to select it as business only and then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the address too so as you can see these are not the required fields so i'm going to leave it as blank and then we are going to click on save and send us request and yes you can see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully created a new lead with the same details so yes i'm going to 
open my close and check for the new lead created and over here you can see name publitude over here you can see the contact so i'm going to open this right over here and as you can see name demo user over here you can see the contact details and the email address and yes you can see that these are the same details we have entered right over here in my spreadsheet so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and we are successful with our workflow but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so to do this i'm going to open my google sheets and we are going to do another test submission so i'm going to enter the details right over here for the first name we are going to keep it as test for the last name we are going to keep it as user only for the company i'm going to use it as pabli corn right now so i'm going to enter it right over here pabli and then we are going to enter corn right over here and then for the email we are going to keep it as test at the rate pabli tutes.com so i'm going to enter it right over here and then for the phone number i'm going to keep the phone number as this and as soon as we are going to enter the phone number automatically these details would be sent to our workflow and this means that we have successfully did the test submission google sheets has sent the details of our submission to our workflow pabli captured the response triggered the workflow and further created a new lead in our close account with the same details so i'm going to open my close directly and check for the new lead created and this time we're not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request i'll directly open my close account and we are going to go back to the lead section and over here you can see a new lead created pabli con over here i'm going to open this and as you can see name test user over here you can see the email and the contact details so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for the trigger application we selected google sheets for the trigger event we selected new or updated spreadsheet row for the action application we selected close and then for the action event we selected create lead because i wanted that as soon as a new row is updated or created in my google sheets automatically with the help of same details a new lead should be created in my close too so that my sales team can get the immediate access of all the leads and they can follow up quickly and more efficiently so yes this for all for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching